Good morning everyone. Today is the 8th of May, June 2023. Morning. A little after 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, I've often been accused of cursing the darkness. You know, cursing the darkness. You know, we have the remedy for darkness, and that's the light. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. But, you know what, we are to expose evil. And I recently posted a video entitled new evidence of the upcoming mark of the beast and I could not do the broadcast on this particular format on Facebook or YouTube or it would have been taken down I just want to let you know that because of the totalitarian beast system that is associated with Facebook and YouTube but I have posted my link sermon audio and I will later post the link to BitChute and iConnect FX where you can find this video and listen to it it's entitled new evidence for the upcoming mark of the beast now it's interesting that I got more many more viewers of this video on BitChute than YouTube you know probably some of the most apathetic and naive Christians are those on Sermon Audio and I find that interesting. I don't know whether it's just apathy or being naive or whether it's just purposeful neglect of looking at the facts. And of course a lot of people deny that the mark of the beast is a literal mark. Um, and they try to explain away all of these events these end time events that are happening right in front of our eyes and they try to say that it's not it's not real you know it's not that there are no spiritual implications to it especially those who are um, in the preterist camp they want to get their eyes off of Rome and the beast, you know. And of course the same thing with the futurist. We're all going to go on a secret rapture out of here. I got news for you. There's no secret rapture. The Bible says all eyes all eyes shall see him. Every eye will see him. So for all of our friends on Facebook and YouTube, I want you to go to sermonaudio.com forward slash house church and watch that video new evidence of the upcoming mark of the beast I think you'll be amazed when you see all these things begin to happen look up for your redemption dog now Jesus Christ has already won the victory folks but we may have to go through some major tribulation in our lifetime the way it sounds after what's happening and you'll see what I'm pointing out in that video these entities want total control over our lives they want control over every aspect of our lives you know over our health over our finances over our travel over our uh, and that's probably about as far go because I don't want to be taken down off of Facebook and and, and YouTube and the, I've already been warned by YouTube they're about ready to take me down anyway it wouldn't be surprising to me if any day I got up and they said we've made a executive decision to remove your account okay that's all right the Bible says that if you're in Christ you're going to be you're going to suffer persecution and if you're in Christ you're going to be ostracized and cast out all the apostles were martyred except for John who was boiled in oil so why should I be surprised if that happens I don't like I don't like being minimalized and discriminated against people say oh you're just making yourself out the victim no 
this has actually happened to me <laughs> you know I got fired 25 years ago from the state of Missouri from my position as a social worker for refusing to license and place children with homosexuals and 25 years ago God orchestrated that I win a federal case against the state of Missouri in this regard but look at how things have gone downhill since 25 years ago my goodness so I'm not just cursing the darkness I'm I'm shining light on uh, in a very dark world Jesus is the answer He's the only answer he's the only way he's the only mediator between God and man the man Christ Jesus that's why he gave his life on the cruel and rugged cross at Calvary for his people he came to save his people from their sins and um, so anyway that's what's on my mind this morning and you know uh, I'm not just cursing the darkness but we aren't we supposed to take a stand against evil be not weary in well-doing the Bible says Paul says and I can hear some of the, my friends from the old school Baptist now saying, oh, Larry Phillips is, you know, he's uh, uh, promoting um, the wrong eschatology. He should be promoting preterism. Well, I am against preterism, old school Baptist. I think it's a lie. I'm not a 70 AD denier. But I don't think everything happened in 70 A.D. Christ went on in his prophecy in Matthew 24. After he covered the events of 70 A.D., he went on and said, this, these are the beginning of sorrows. All these things must come to pass. They didn't all come to pass in 70 A.D. Well, I hope you have a blessed day today and check out that, that video. And... Just be aware that we are living in, I believe, the very last days, you know, and don't be surprised if we have to go through some major persecution. May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.